All right, this is a quick summary of my psychology project on Alzheimer's disease. So first I have just a slight introduction explaining what the disease is. It's an illness that affects memory and the mental processing systems in the brain. And it was named after Dr. Aloise Alzheimer, who's a German psychiatrist in 1900s. And overall, it's just a reduction of brain cells that lead to the wear down of brain functions like memory and remembering information. So these are just some quick statistics explaining uh, how common it is that one in 10 over the age of 65 get it. Uh, it's the sixth leading cause of death in America. And uh, there uh, over $305 billion are spent on the health care of Alzheimer's. And then this is just a small chart about the distribution of Alzheimer's in race and gender, and it's more common in females. As for the cause, uh, it's not really directly known, but some of the factors that could cause it are age, so it's an older disease, you get it when you're older. Genetics, uh, if it's passed down through your parents or if a relative had it, you're more likely to get it. Your lifestyle, so your eating habits, your activity, your uh, smoking and drug habits, and also outside forces, so where you're living and what conditions you're living in. So just the gist of the history is that uh, Ali's Alzheimer uh, discovered the disease in 1906 with one of his patients named August Dieter who was having some memory issues and trouble uh, learning information and it wasn't until 1910 it was officially named Alzheimer's by one of his uh, colleagues who was working closely with him and some of the other main points are that in 1993 the, a drug was approved by the FDA the, one of the first drugs to help treatment. And uh, in 2010, Alzheimer's research increases by quite a significant amount and more money was coming in to uh, research it. For transmission, since it's genetic, it cannot be directly passed like other diseases like flu or colds. Um, but it appears uh, later in life, like mid-60s, which is when the body starts to wear down and uh, processes aren't as functional as they were when they were, people were younger. So pathology, normally in a normal brain, signals or neurotransmitters are sent to give information to the body. But in the case of Alzheimer's, uh, clumps of beta amyloid proteins, which are proteins that help with neural growth, and also groups of the tau protein, which help with uh, transport, those form big clumps. So in beta amyloid, it's plaques, and tau, it's neurofibrillary tangles, which block up the systems in the brain and prevent information from smoothly flowing, um, which that causes information, new information um, to not to be processed correctly, so it's harder to remember. For risk factors, uh, these are similar to the causes. Basically, it's just if your family genetics, so if a parent or grandparent had it, you're more likely to get it. Your age, so as you're older, uh, the wear down of cells is more common, so you're going to have a hard time remembering things. Gender, um, typically women have it more than men, so if you're women, you're more likely to get it. And also other previous issues such as high blood pressure, uh, severe br brain trauma if you had a brain injury, and also people with Down syndrome. For symptoms, uh, the symptoms can be stronger or weaker depending on the part of the brain that's affected. So for mental, you're going to have your memory loss, uh, hard time making decisions, um, your perception on time or place might be skewed. Uh, you're going to have uh, some vision loss, uh, trouble uh, having conversations uh, or doing daily tasks, and also you might be depressed or irritable or skeptical of some people. As for treatment, there isn't a direct treatment as of right now, but there are ways to help lower the effects. So you can, um, it's important to stay active mentally and socially. So keep having conversations with people, getting together, um, doing things like reading to keep up your processing systems, uh, maintaining a fit lifestyle. So eating habits are healthy and regular exercise. Make sure your blood pressure levels are at a decent amount. And also uh, don't overuse drugs or alcohol and also some medications you can take to help. Then, so then I just have a short video on a nursing home that uses music to help its patients uh, bring back some memories and it's actually quite interesting that something as simple as music can uh, trigger all these old memories that may not have uh, 
been remembered as well in these patients. And then I just wrote a short reflection about the video showing how amazing the human memory is that although Alzheimer's is a destructive disease um, and re deeply affects uh, a person's ability to remember, something as simple as music can trigger those memories back and they can remember the words to all these songs that may not have been remembered otherwise. And it shows just how amazing God is also that he, although he puts us through suffering, he gives something to offer as a light of hope in those times. Um, and I also put a small Bible verse from 2 Corinthians 4 that says, Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. And I thought that kind of related to uh, what I was talking about. And then finally, I just have my work cited. So thank you for listening.